So that's it guys, I said to myself, how hard can it be to paint a set of forks? Seriously, what can go wrong? Yeah, so I popped down to precincts and um, I bought some adhesive, she abrasive sheets of sandpaper, um, P2500. So sand down as a set of forks. I bought some primer. Um, I bought some blue. Now the space blue forks are not present, but I've got a set of forks um, that I picked up, really straight condition, and a set of Rally um, 20 or Rally uh, Shopper forks in space blue. So I popped down Halfords and I said to a chap, well, I didn't say to chap, I went on my own, I looked for myself and I found a thing, as a paint called Fit Legends Blue spray paint. And that is not a bad match. I would say 90, 95% accurate um, to a space blue. So let's do it, let's paint. Let's place blue. Let's do it. Okay, so as is it some imperfections on the frame already, I'm not going to bother about sanding down the forks. Just um, get off all the dirt and any dust and go straight with a grey primer. Just start with a small area first. And see how we get on. So, let's start there. Yeah. Well, I'll cut back in when we've done one side. And that's one side done in a grey primer. Um, I think it looks all right. What do you guys think? So that's that side pretty much complete. It's got to do the other side with a second coat. Second coat done on the first side. Um, this is a very quick drying Halfords Grey Primer. Um, yeah, seems to be doing the job so far. Okay, so forks have been primed, ready for paint. Like I say, Fit Legends Blue spray paint. It's not a bad match to Silver Space Blue. I think it's gonna look good. Let's do it. And this is roughly the color I wanna copy, like a Space Blue. So hopefully, we'll have two forks looking like that in about two minutes let's do it and that's one side done it's a bit off but don't matter looks good okay right, guys so it's the following morning and that's the finished result it's way off it's way off color um but i think i'll try my best i think it looks okay it's not great, I've got a nice bit of patina on those forks because I accidentally touched it with a flat with like a towel, a dirty towel, a rag. So I've got a bit of nice patina and um you know looks a bit off colour. So yeah, I think overall it fits in quite well. Um I don't know what you can see in this daylight, but I think overall. Not a bad little job. You've got a nice bit of shine. You know, once I think a mud guard's on and the wheel, it's going to draw attention away from the forks. So, the main thing is, I've got a space blue now with, with sort of kind of forks. Because if you look at it, for example, I'd, this bit here where it's starting to change colour a little bit that fits in well with this bit here and you know 
You know, if the bars were re-chromed and everything was immaculate, then it was it would stand out, wouldn't it? But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. To be fair, pretty pleased. Pretty pleased. Yeah, that's it. I think. You know, let me know in the comments what you think of those forks and um, yeah, all good. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, we're done on the um paint job on the space blue. It looks all right. I'm like I said, it wasn't a hundred percent perfect paint match, and I've got the patience of a saint when it comes to painting anything. Um, the sandpaper was wrong, wrong sort of sandpaper. Um, I done it outside and it was windy, and and the aer aerosol lid. Blew off a table and landed it, landed somewhere. I can't find it. Um, it was just, it was just diabolical, useless um, attempt at painting. And any painter would have been horrified at why I done it. But it doesn't matter, does it? Because if it sort of like blends in, obviously if it was pink or if it was orange, then you'd be saying to yourself, look. You, know, you are useless, but it sort of blends into that, you know, distressed paintwork. And um, I think it looks all right. Anyway, guys, I um, hope you liked that little bit at the beginning with the editing. Just trying out new things, you know, not always going to do that sort of thing. Um, like you saw in the, uh, you know, in the video for the, for the, um, the, the, um, the burner. Not burner. Yeah, one with the photographs in, I've forgotten now. Um, two weeks ago. Um, sometimes I can be really serious and just crack on to a really good, meaningful video. But occasionally I like to mess about and, and you know, a little, a little music and stuff. So, um, yeah, thanks to all the new subscribers I picked up recently. It means a lot. It really does. Hope you guys enjoy the content and, and it's a bit of escapism um, than the TV, um, you know. Big video. Big video on on Thursday um, regarding the rally Mark One chopper. Big video on that one. Um, well worth a watch. It's going to be quite long, maybe twenty minutes long. So um, feel free to to pause it halfway and make yourself a bit of lunch. You know. <laughs> well, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, Hit that like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff with the notification bell. And I'll see you later on on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.